because we have the technology to digitally remove things and replace it with background, that was just a brilliant idea. So that was very much the centerpiece of the whole design. So the robot's head and the performer was wearing the robot's feet. So we would add the arms and we would add the legs. So we did a test in pre-production and we had uh, actually Stan Winston's digital company um, add legs and arms to it. A performer went, um, just run through the set kind of slamming into things, trying to stop, really fighting against what he was wearing, even though they did a great job. We shot that with uh, cameras that would repeat, motion control cameras, and then we also shot the rooms with nobody in them so that, that we could paint away. There's one shot where the robot runs into the desk. Dad's desk, he's chasing Walter, and he slips on debris that's on the floor. Well, the reason we got that is because that really happened. The guy was in the suit. He was supposed to run into the desk, but the stuff falls on the floor, and he really was slipping on it. So there's subtleties to that performance. So that, that was, it was challenging, but that was, it worked out really well. Uh, we had a lot of versions of the robot. We had a full body robot that could be puppeteered. Uh, we had a BAM bot, which was, which was made of iron and all heavily welded, and we would s smash that through doors and we'd smash it through walls. They created this big, huge rig, metal rig that they could put it on like a big spit and they could rotate it, they could program it for different speeds so it would rotate at a consistent speed. And then we set up, uh, you know, like, I don't know, about 40 feet of track and uh, a camera on what we call the Geniflex, which is a motion control kind of dolly crane. We moved the camera so that it would make it look like the sofa was moving, doing the moving instead of us. And we had a couple of practical effects guys with fans who blew the fire all around. You don't really want to do flames and CG if you can avoid it, because they always look phony. I mean, you see it in movies here and there, but generally, it doesn't work. Obviously, there, there wouldn't be fire in space, but in our movie, there is, so we had to figure out what maybe that would look like. <laughs> 